All right, got the donor bar. Now, what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna go clear up here. I'm gonna remove this one and go clear up here for this clamp. And I'm gonna go straight across. That'll bring it up even higher. And uh, take this one off. And then all this ram mount bullshit will bolt onto the crossover bar, which will be like right there. All right, I removed the, uh, the ram mounts. We're gonna go to the top of the bar, in the top of the bar. And now the next piece is cut the pipe to this distance. And the engine's in there cutting my quarter 20 bolts down, threading them all the way down. Stainless steel, yo. Pretty simple. There we are. The Indians is working hard on cutting this quarter 20 thread all the way down. Well, within an eighth of an inch. And now once I run the bolt, I'll use a set of these to cut it off at the end. And he's using plenty of oil on this. And doing the on off thing. We'll be back. All right. Gonna be 14 and three quarter inches. I'm gonna cut it with a pipe cutter. And then I will use a hacksaw and slash it down a little bit and then flatten the ends. So here we go. All right. Both ends flattened. That's how it's going to look. And then we're going to bolt it up. After I drill the holes, of course. But, uh, a lot of fun. Figured it would be about a hour job. Alright, took the electric grinder to it. Bolt ends. Take a little bit more off this side and uh, this is gonna work. Hey ya uh, engine, what you doing over there, yo? What you doing, Willis? I'm drinking beer now. My half the job's <laughs> done. You're an asshole, this ain't right. How come I gotta keep turning and cutting while you're having fun? Because you're the expert uh, thread cutter, utter, utter, utter. Utter? You like tits, don't you? I'm not part of a cow. Oh, I thought you liked tits. Well, I do. I like hooters, but I'm not an utter <laughs> person. <laughs> Fun at where? God. The Busted Canuckle Garage. When it comes to udders, I don't know cows, I don't know one end from the udder. Yep. You know what I think? I think you're the slowest thread cutter in fucking Council Bama. Well, I'm older than dirt and I don't have no power plug in my butt or anything to make me go. I just do it at a certain speed. It's called old dude justice. Hey, look at that shit. It, it doesn't even wobble straight. Oh, this is going to be a cluster. <laughs> hey, hey, Joe. Hey, how are you? I can really fix this so you won't be able to use it. <laughs> All right, I got the two rubber pieces. I took off a uh, cell phone handlebar mount that I used to use, but it won't fit my current phone. Now the Indian is center punched it. 
and now he's gonna drill press the holes because he's such a rocket scientist compared to the to the worthless NT8 with metal tools. <laughs> Talk about dude. I suck, dude. I I don't mind. Oh, now he's gonna squirt some oil. Should I do the Del Boy thing and, and show fucking four hours of fucking drilling and fucking grinding and shit? All right, now, we're going to use this metal to go around that pipe and go in there, and then the bolt is going to go through the two holes that's in the rubber, and that should insulate the metal from the pipe as well as give some anti-vibration to the ram mounts that are going to go on there. Alright, after a lot of finagling, we got it somewhat mounted. We got the rubber in place. Then we're going to have to get it equal. And I ended up having to loosen these two and these two to get it bolted in. And that is just the handguard mount that we talked about yesterday. Same over here. So we'll be able to pull this off. And special thanks to my lovely assistant wearing his colors, yo. Fucking Fagawi tribe. Keystone light, baby! Alright, she's installed. She's rough. She's tough. She's double rubbered. Now the Indian gets to play he fucking man. Don't cut my fucking mirror off. There you go. Right there, get on that side. Okay. Hold get it. on. Get on that side. Get on the other side, the other side. Oh, fuck, here we go. Here's where Barbie gets cut in half. Jesus. We gotta get a, we gotta get the longer one out. Come here, wait, Joe, come here. Can, he's got the kid. Snap this. Pull them two levers. Take over for him. He's old. He's a wimp. There. Okay. All right. All right. It's all Take right. it off. Take it off. Now do this one. I have to come over on the other side to get that one. Come on, He-Man. Come on. Fucking Buckeye boys are stronger than you. That's all right, I'll put a pair of pliers on it and break it off. What? <laughs> Way to go. Huh? Can't go? believe you couldn't cut that. <laughs> Where's it go? Oh my God, look, they got a sign. What's it say? It says, Buckeye Boys Suck! What house for? Yes, it says, Buckeye Boys Suck! All right, done deal. Rubber, rubber. Rubber, rubber, X grip, and quarter 20. Got a little bit of movement there, just like I want it. It's got rubber under the bottom where it's metal to metal, but now it's metal, rubber, metal, metal, rubber, metal. And the Grizz wants to. Hit the NT8 horn. Yeah. Gotta be tough, dude. Gotta be tough. Yeah. So there we have it. Instant crossbar. Let's see, that cost me two dollars and twelve cents and then forty-two fifty for the 42 engines. Forty two fifty. For the engines help. And a beer. I, I brought beer. Okay. I just didn't bring you any. 
you have to drink what I drink. Keystone Light, baby! Okay. All right, so that's pretty simple. So you get cheap labor. I gotta drink Keystone Light. I'm I can't. Cheap. I can't. I can't say what I want to say on YouTube. <laughs> oh yeah, it's back. The Death Spike is home, and the still picture camera, the auxiliary GoPro, and the uh, uh, cell phone. And I still have room for the GPS mount. A hole. A hole. NT8 got it going on, yo. Top this. Bitches. Don't fuck with the busted knuckle, yo. We do it all. Be honest.